SMT Thermal Discoveries are the experts in thermal processes from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 450 degrees Celsius. With highly stable reflow soldering systems, vacuum soldering to reduce voiding in solder joints, and whether you need temperature treatment systems with standard equipment or flexible solutions, SMT Thermal Discoveries have the machine to your thermal challenges. Welcome to ITW EAE here at Productronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Wayne Wang. Nice to see you, Wayne. Good to see you again, Trevor. Yeah. Uh, then glad to see you made it over the pond, basically, to, to, to Germany. Right. It took a little bit of effort, but glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. So, exciting things here. At yes. Back, and um, it's really in line with factory automation. Yes. Smart factory. Uh, we're, we're looking at uh, automatic stencil changeover system, yep. uh, among other things. Among other things, uh, yes. So take it away and uh, give us an overview of, of what we're looking at. Yeah, so as you know, automation has been the industry trend for uh, quite some uh, uh, some time. So we mm -hmm. uh, take on this challenge and uh, keep come up with a, um, a printer with automated changeover technology. That's what uh, the, the logo is saying, ACT. That stands ah, for Automated okay. Changeover Technology. Right. So we had uh, two design goals. One, one is the first one is the um, adaptive. So we wanted to make our solution uh, to be adaptive, meaning easy to adopt by the industry, mm -hmm. simple to use, and cost effective. So that right. generates attractive ROI for the end users. Yeah. So any solution has to be generate economic value for the customers for the adoption, right? So yeah, it, what's interesting about this concept is that, of course, you're using a standard Edison printer. Right. Uh, and then this is an add-on unit. So you're not actually redesigning your, your existing printer. You're exactly right. So we're leveraging the uh, industry-leading uh, performance Edison uh, printer. Hmm. We added a few uh, motion axes for material exchange between the printer and this cart. So that's what we did. And the, the addition is this cart, mm -hmm. which takes power from the machine itself. And the cart uh, can house the changeover items. Mm -hmm. And the cart, the, uh, these changeover items can be preload back in the kitty room. Right. And um, at this moment, it's, it's operator you know, can push it uh, and get it docked to the printer and the actual changeover can be triggered by the MES. I see. So during the changeover, there's no requirement for operator to be present. Okay. So that's that's the uh, save in labor and saving uh, the, uh, in the uh, uh, changeover time. Yeah, absolutely. So I noticed that, that if you look at the design of this, uh, if we, if, I don't know if we can pan down a little bit um, to the bottom there, but you'll see there's a, a gap at the bottom which is going to allow for future for an a AIG. Yeah, it, uh, so that's that's a provision we have mm -hmm. for the future uh, HV integration. HV, yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah, so that would allow essentially this unit to move between the kitting room and 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 the printer. And the printer. Yeah. At yeah. this moment, by uh, by by operator. Right. Later later on, future development it will be uh, uh, the uh, driven by HV. Right. Right. Okay. So. Um, it's not just handling uh, stencils, but it's also handling the squeegee changeover and also the paste changeover. Yes, so um, it, this, uh, the card can house stencil, squeegees, and the dedicated tooling okay. uh, changeover. The squeegee, uh, the, excuse me, the, the paste uh, cartridge changeover is not housed in this um, card but it's on the other on, on the, the, on the side, side of, of the, the machine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. So, can we spin the cart around and have a, a quick look at the other side? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so let's glad to do that. Turn it around. It's uh, it's quite a chunk. <laughs> it's <laughs> good. Yeah, at, at this moment uh, we have been focusing on the robustness of this cart. Absolutely, uh, it's the proof of concept. Later on, we do have plan to uh, reduce, uh, looking at the ways to reduce the size the and size weight. and the weight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I get that. But it's a great concept. I love the idea of it. You know, you're not necessarily redesigning completely the the, the existing machine. Right. So you can see at the bottom here. I'm guessing this is where it electrically connects 
uh, or docks with, with the printer. Right, that's the yeah. uh, electrical interface uh, to be docked with the uh, printer to get the power to the card. Right, yes. Right. Okay. And, and we have here, I can see three stencils. Uh, yep. So is, is that a three stencil magazine? Yeah, it can be all uh, stencils. Uh, well, first off, this card total has um, four shelves. Mm -hmm. You can uh, put mix the different things between stencil and the trays that uh, uh, houses um, uh, tooling, tooling plate yeah. or squeegee. I see. So if, if your changeover only involves stencil, you can certainly populate all four shelves with all stencil, just right. stencil. Right. So whatever Presumably you're, you're going to have to leave one empty to be able to take the old stencil out. Right. That's yeah. why now you're seeing the fourth uh, yeah. shelf is actually empty. Yeah. That's for the take and receive the uh, current run stencil. Right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So I assume once we you know get this into production, uh, is, is it something that's going to be almost retrofitable to other existing machines in the field? That's a great question. So our baseline Edison 2 Act, if you look at this, this will be this will be the the, the changeover upgradable in the field. Mm -hmm. So because if you look at all the different uh, industry users, they have different uh, level uh, automation needs. Mm -hmm. So one of the, the actually this going back to the, my earlier comment, one of the second goal of our design is to make our make our um, uh, solution scalable, okay. so we can meet all different uh, uh, levels of the automation needs from right. various customers. Yeah. So the baseline machine is actually upgradable. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready to invest in full automation solution, you want it, but but certainly it's on your roadmap. Yeah. You can buy the baseline machine, and uh, when you're ready, whenever you're ready, you can buy, upgrade buy the, to the yeah. automation solution. Yeah, yes. excellent, excellent. Super. Very exciting. I'm pleased to see that. It is very exciting. <laughs> Thank you for okay. the uh, opportunity talking to you, Trevor. Yeah. Thank you very much, Wayne, for showing it to us.